it's not just the FA Cup final, it is an opportunity for us to win it and get ourselves into Europe. Hello everybody and welcome back to Bolton and uh, just to finish the season off we are in the FA Cup final got Watford and uh, to be perfectly honest we're probably expected to win as well so with the journey that we've had all the way here which we'll have a look in just a moment first take a look at Watford's route to the final Portsmouth in the third round 1-0 they then beat Plymouth 4-0 away from home in the fourth round Bournemouth 2-1 very close indeed in the fifth then they played Wolves again 2-1 at this point they haven't played at home another 2-1 victory there in the quarterfinal then they play West Brom at Wembley in the semi-final and they win that 3-2 with a 93rd minute winner and I think West Brom in that game they um, they scored in the 88th and then obviously it's ourselves in the final Right, let's have a look at ourselves and uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the goals that has got us all the way to the final. So in the third round, we needed a late equaliser from Pietro to get us to a replay in the very snowy conditions to make this 1-1 against Newcastle. And it was Pietro again that coming up trumps late on in the 114th minute to rescue us and uh, save us from going into penalties. A 2-1 victory there. The next round saw us play Swansea, and once again it had to go to extra uh, to a uh, replay with Killian this time getting a late equaliser in a 1-1 draw. And it was Matt O'Reilly uh, finishing things off for us in the replay. A 3-1 victory, a very, very uh, comfortable game this one. Swansea just did had no reply for us whatsoever. This was, however, was a very special game against Chelsea, and uh, we get off to a flyer through Killian. Netting after 30 minutes before we get a second through Rabi and uh, another good cross back post job once more. Uh, uh, Chelsea did get a goal back though. Them racing forward, cutting us right apart and, Jews, and Jesus scoring, uh, getting one back with a half an hour to go before one more goal. Liam Hughes at the back post once again and then just stroking that ball in. Quarterfinal saw us pit our wits up against Millwall from the Championship and it was Killian, as you can see here, finishing off his hat-trick to make it 4-0 at the time before Millwall got a consolation goal in the 91st minute but a very, very well-fought game and we never looked in trouble in that one at all. And then another very special game against Arsenal against the odds as we go ahead with Rabi at the back post and Liam Hughes across uh, wonderful, well taken uh, play that was, and then I think Rabi uh, uh, returned the favour to Hughes, and Hughes headed that in in the far corner, and that was a very, very special win, which brings us nicely to the FA Cup final v Watford, and uh, we have got quite a good record against Watford. This is a side, but if we just have a look at um, the past meetings against Watford, just going that extra mile as well, uh, we've won three drawn four and lost two we've scored 17 goals the last game being a 5-0 draw and we didn't start off well against uh, Watford but in the league we have uh, we haven't lost in the league against them at all he returns hurrah we have got our first teamers back so this is the side that is going to take uh, Watford on in the final. Tolly is going to be playing in goal. We've got Carlos, Buongiorno, Voisson and Colotti at the back. We've got McNally and Biscuits just playing in front of him and just behind our front four really with, of Hughes, O'Reilly, Rabi and then Killian, our top goal scorer up front. I'm, I'm hoping he's going to do the business. A hat-trick from him and a couple from Hughes to repeat the 5-0 victory would be uh, excellent. Right, let's up and add him. Uh, nothing else really needs to change there. There's only Liam Hughes. That's not quite fit though. Uh, he is back, but he can play up to 75 minutes. So we'll give him a go. Then we can always change him. Put Rabi on that side. Put Jules or um, Arnold there instead. Uh, Robertson. It's all, we can change everything <laughs> if need be. Right. Okay. Let's submit this team and uh, let's uh, let's get on with it. Right, who's excited for this then? So Watford, uh, they've got Hillman up front, five in uh, eight, and then 15 more as substitutions. Uh, they've got uh, quite a few new players in there, actually. Players that have not really played very many games. Vincent has, they've got Knight, Turnbull, Cavill, or Carvel, Restos, Bilic, and Pizzo, and then uh, Gasp, uh, 
Is that Gasparini? Five and six. Uh, Bartoli, 53 and 46. And it's not too bad. He's played every single game virtually as uh, we are going to go through. We haven't got a goalkeeper on the bench. Maybe that might be a mistake. Right, okay. Changing rooms. Uh, let's win this cup for the supporters and also win it for yourselves. Uh, faith in you. Go and make a difference. It is the final, guys. Last game of the season. Let's go out with a bang. Let's get ourselves into Europe. There is a European spot on the table here. Win the trophy, we win, we get into Europe for next season and that would uh, really help our players showcase themselves as uh, we go 1-0 up already and it looks like it's offside, obviously. It had to be really, didn't it? Matt O'Reilly, not sure really what... Oh, right, so, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> not really much you could say about that, can you? When the whole team is virtually offside as uh, Ravi comes forward, plays it out to Carlos, who's got loads of space on that right-hand side. Uh, just waiting for the cross comes in. Uh, we're trying to get that ball in. Hughes under it. Great control. We've missed him. Rabi. Oh, I thought he was going to do an overhead kick. Skips past his man. We're in there. And Deleem Hughes, 10th of the season. This time it is a goal. And uh, we're 1-0 up at Wembley in the FA Cup final. <laughs> Come on, guys. Wonderful play. Uh, there was, at one point, I thought they'd overplay themselves like this point here. But uh, there's a good... Uh, a fortunate uh, ricochet there for Rabi to go through and then cross it in for Hughes. What a brilliant finish. What a start. And uh, Hughes, we've been wait we've missed him all uh, the last few games as we get the block in and Killian on the go again. Liam Hughes scores against Watford once again. So if he gets a brace, Killian gets a hat-trick. It's all good. Play it wide. Uh, he should have played across the goal, not across the goal. Just had a glimpse of the bank balance as well. We've, we're looking very healthy once again. Uh, so after a very, very good finish to the season. Carlos with a cross. We could do one more goal. As uh, we just get a there ahead of their chap. And uh, Knights could coolly brings it down as uh, Watford start again from the back. Bielik plays it out wide to Bizo. Or Pizzo, sorry, not Bizo. And uh, they're playing the ball a lot. As uh, he gets in, Hillman gets in behind a good block by... Um, Colotti there. He did get in behind him and then he did stick a foot out as well. So let's see if we can uh, get this corner away, which is a great header as well. Another corner off the post this time. That could have quite easily snuck in on the back post. Watford are at us once again as Turnbull crosses it. Effort over the bar. Batali just watches it. Looks like there's a few empty seats. I'm not sure on whose side, but it looks like it could be full capacity. It generally is at Wembley. You play at Wembley, it generally is a full capacity, isn't it? As Riley runs off with it and then plays it down to Killian. Killian's got a lot of space. He's going to cut inside. Oh, he does skip past one. Skips past another. Goes for goal, and that's a fantastic save. That would have been a fantastic goal. Killian hasn't scored a goal in a few games now. Uh, I'm not concerned. He's probably burnt out though, to be honest. Voice, uh, voice and plays it to McNally. McNally play it back. Don't play it all the way back. I said play it back. <laughs> right, up to half time. Two minutes added on. And that should be it. Half time. Uh, it isn't full capacity. I'm very shocked. I'm very shocked at that. And I don't think we've brought to... F uh, we haven't brought everybody with us, have we? Is that all? We Is that the capacity? Is that the whole... Uh, um, population in uh, Bolton then, is it? 41,873. Are they not expecting us to win this? Come on, guys. Where's the support? Right, let's get straight into the second half then. And I'm going to say get a little bit creative as well. We do want to, a second goal would have calmed the nerves down a little bit for us. Voice on in the ball. Played over the top to Killian. Killian heads it onto Riley. Killian has it back. In on goal. Bang! It wouldn't be a final without Killian scoring. And uh, we are 2 0 up. The same goal scorers scoring yet again. Hughes and Killian. A minute in. Great header by Killian. Then to Riley. Then Riley plays it back to him. And uh, Killian just runs in on goal and just plays it past the, the uh, distraught goalkeeper there who's literally on his knees. He's got red gloves on. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Right. Corner ball for Watford. Are they going to get a goal back? No, they don't. Straight into the arms of Batali. Now, the thing is, do we go a little bit more defensive? I don't particularly want to. Not yet, at least. But Killian's on a good kick. And that is a... Oh, I thought he could have turned around and put it in for his left peg. But uh, that's unfortunate. He finds Rabi, though, with a beautiful cross. But not quite uh, 
Heading it away from the goalkeeper there as the cross comes in. A wonderful take by Batale. Wow, what a fantastic save that is. I'm just a little bit disappointed we haven't brought our ticket allocation to the to Wembley, though, to be fair. I'm really disappointed that as uh, Hillman runs forward. They took a deflection as Batale just... Uh, Kneels down and catches it. Again, the highlights just keep coming for this final. Watford once again looking for a goal back. And uh, they have got a goal back, actually. It's uh, Restos, or Retsos, has got one back. And uh, that's not at all great at all, is it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, through the legs. Nobody really saw. The goalkeeper, you can't really blame. He couldn't really see that. But uh, we are losing a little bit of control in the centre. So, um tempted to push uh, O'Reilly back and Robertson or Kloss as attacking as uh, we get another one. Killian gets his second of the game. He's 36. That's a brace. It's two goals or th I don't know how many goals off he is of the record. Now I thought it's 38. It could be 39 but he's going to he's walking his way into the record Brooks with a lot of ease and that is a fantastic goal and uh it's Colotti with the uh, assist this time. Excellent stuff. 3-1. No sooner they get one goal back, we just go ahead up the other end and uh, score another one. It just means that we can score a goal any time we fancy. And uh, Killian's on for a hat-trick. <laughs> ambitious. That was ambitious. Uh, Riley can drop back. And I'm going to bring Kloss in here. And I am very tempted to bring Robertson on as well, which I might do. Because I feel like he does deserve something there. Right, it all depends whether we bring uh, Pietro on or not. So we'll see how it goes. And um, we'll go and get a little bit creative at the same time as well. As uh, Hughes is still on that right, left-hand side. We should be substituting him, really, because he is going to be absolutely battered now. Uh, we're playing it lovely out the back, though. Look at this. P look at this play. And then we smash it to Rabi, who's got acres as he runs into the centre. Misses this dive. Plays out to Carlos. Uh, in the centre, there's a, a couple of shots but just being ping ball around in that area. As a what a slide tackle by Buongiorno. I tell you what, we can't not play him anymore, can we? Right, 15 to go. Now, the question is, do we take Liam Hughes off? I am very tempted to, but I also want to bring in Pietro. Pietro. I'm going to bring Pietro in for the final, final uh, few minutes. 10 minutes in fact, 3-1 up. I don't see any problems now. Killing you, done your job. Unfortunately, you didn't get your hat trick, but it doesn't really matter that much. You've done yourself really well and you showcased yourself well as well. And uh, that is 3-2, oh dear. That's his first goal of the season actually. What for the red hot, apparently. <laughs> I don't see it myself as uh, we're gonna skip this game and uh, we're just gonna tend to get a bit more creative. Do we drop back now? That's the question. They're attacking, we're attacking. It's all it's all up in the air at the minute as the time's ticking by. Five minutes of added on added time. You're joking. As I'm watching the clock, it's racing down to zero. Uh, that's it. There we are. Champions, champions, away, away, away. There we go. Look at that. Champions FA Cup winners. We're in Europe as well. Absolute bonus. So get in. And uh, we're loving it. We were all over them. I don't understand the possession bit. I really don't. Um, Watford did have a lot. Well, say did they really have a lot of chances? I don't think they did. Just look at them stats. Uh, if we have a look in the second half, we totally and utterly bossed them in the second half. What a season them boys have had. Excellent effort, guys. Well played indeed. And a fantastic victory as well. We should win a little bit of money for that as well, shouldn't we? 3-2. FA Cup winners. Bolton Wanderers take a bow. Uh, we receive another 4 million for winning that. Iconic Cat builds Bolton legacy. Uh, Cat has confirmed, uh, firmly cemented his status as an iconic figure at, at Bolton after clinching the FA Cup and winning his second trophy at the club, which has spanned nine years. Ensured a legacy which will live long in the memory, but which may also not yet be complete. The 55 yet, I'm 55 apparently, is already being spoken in the same breath as likes of Bolton Warren, Icon McGinley, and Yaskalainen. Uh, feet uh, securing his place in the hearts of the Trotters faithful. Well, shall we have a look at that then, shall we? I am an icon. There I am. Uh, no, there I am. That is my 
actual name, Eddie, but it's not Eddie Davis. Uh, Ilson Cat, there I am, manager. I'm not going to be far off legend. I don't know what I have to be to do legends, but uh, who cares at this point in time. Bolton Board are happy with the FA Cup win. Look at that. Ahead of Liverpool, Man City, United, Liverpool again. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's not uh, going to happen very often, is it? A killing puts in classy display. Again, he gets another um, player of the match. We qualify for Europe. There is confirmation of that as well. Killing breaks the goal scoring record in the FA Cup now. It's a new record. <laughs> He's done that as well. He beats Martinez with seven. He gets eight goals for the season. That is uh, truly amazing for the 18 year old as well. Uh, best players inducted to the Bolton's best 11. Pietro is still there. Friend is still here. Lundulu and Herford Lockett is not. Uh, Morley is not there. Robertson is still around. Laird has gone. Vandenberg has gone. Abbott has gone. Colotti is there now. And uh, Botoli as well in goal. Uh, season, end of season awards. 78% Killian gets fans player of the season. <laughs> How can he not? Really, goal of the season is Liam Hughes against Watford. Uh, that would have been in the 5-0 win, I take it. And uh, what was uh, what was the goal? Overshadow Killian's hat-trick. And uh, that was the free kick. Yeah, I have to agree. I cannot fault that at all. Was, uh, I totally agree with that one. Killian signing of the season, 30 million for Monaco. A bit dubious at first. He wasn't really starting to begin with as well. But boy, has he uh, paid his money back. The young player of the season is Killian. The season uh, review then. We finish 8th. We win the FA Cup. We lost in the Carabao Cup. Uh, the match of the season was a 5-0 victory over Newcastle. And then the uh, moment to forget was a 4-0 loss to Man United. Yeah, we didn't really want to say anything about that. Uh, average attendance is a full capacity as far as I'm concerned. But 97% full. I don't get it. Uh, 23 players used joint 15th in the premiership eh? we didn't use as much as everybody else then we have club uh, vision and expectations meeting finishing the top half uh, reached the second knockout round seriously are you having a laugh and then by the end of 29 30 which is uh, the season after that is to be recognized as the best of the rest oh hang on make sure the team becomes recognized as the best of the rest outside the premiership's top six okay so we're looking at a top seven finish then so yeah, I think we can do that. Oh, we'll accept it then. End of season team meeting. Well played, lads. Uh, the season over, it's time for you to uh, have a break. I want every single one for the rest of because we're going to qualify for Champions League. Don't think so. Uh, we could go qualify for Europe next season. I want to uh, finish now. It's focus we can achieve. I think we could finish in top half next year and need to come back with pre-season, same level of ambition. I think we could go with that and that's exactly the sort of... Uh, Reaction hours after. Finances are looking very, very healthy indeed. 46 million in the bank. Void a tax hit. Um, taxable profits of just 5 million. Okay, commercial summary then. Okay, this is uh, the money business then. Uh, we've got another four new deals worth 1.8 million pound a year. The most notable new deal is the telecommunications company. Five year deal worth 3.5 million. Wow, that is uh, quite a bit. The sponsorship's gone up again. By about three hundred thousand a year, so up to th we're up to now fourteen million pound a year. Uh, is that a year? I wonder if that's a year. Broadcast revenues have gone down surprisingly. I'm not sure how that works, considering we got all the way to the final of the FA Cup. Uh, corporate and hospitality has gone up, not by a lot, but it has gone up. Competition prize money has definitely gone up. We've gone up by a sixteen million look, and match day commercial and retail has gone down. Not by a lot, but it's gone down. The total merchandise sales for the season were 1.86 million, with non domestic sales accounted to 186,000 of this total. The club sold a total of 17,923 shirts with the following names on it Killian, McNally, Rabbi. Frint is still in there. <laughs> I'm quite surprised at that. And Hughes, where's O'Reilly? I thought O'Reilly would have been in there. There is a new scouting budget as uh, we have got the top packages already. And uh, this is the moment we have been waiting for. The uh, the budgets for next season, shall we? Uh, actually, we'll wait a minute. Facilities are downgraded. That's not great. Uh, improve use facilities. It's not got a notice that we're currently on our best run of form. Yeah, okay. They agree to that. The youth category is dropped as well. The board so the annual cost will be 3.12. And uh, yeah, okay, next rent is uh, expected cost for the improvements. Right, okay. Deep breath. Let's have a look at the budgets. 
The board have initial wage budget for forthcoming season of 1.3 million per week. I think that's what it is at the moment, isn't it? And then we've got a transfer budget of 65 million pounds. That is absolutely massive. Ooh, we can do something with that. And then I've got a few wonder kids I have got in mind. It all depends whether we can get a uh, permit for them. Right, just before we go then, let's just have a quick look at the squad. And uh, let's go through all the usual rigmarole. Batali, Riley, Rabi, McNally, Hughes and Killian. Virtually ever present. Uh, Buongiorno, Colotti, uh, Voison, Carlos. Yeah, I tell you what, our players have been very well rounded as well, haven't they? Uh, there's Elliot Batal. I mean, where's our other? Did we have another goalkeeper on the bench? I don't think we did, did we? Uh, I don't think we got a goalkeeper on the bench. Anywhere. That's worrying. Um, yeah, okay, we need to sort that out, don't we? Goals then. Where else do you expect them to go to? Killian, 36 goals this season. Massive. Uh, Rabi weighs in with 15. Hughes and Pietro, 10 each. O'Reilly comes in with three. McNally gets involved. Same with Arnold, Jules, and then all the way right down to Robertson as well. Assists, then who's got the most assists? It's Liam Hughes. Liam Hughes, Carlos, Rabi, Riley, and Killian all getting in there. Same with McNally, Arnold, and Colotti as well. Right, average ratings then very, very quickly. Then Killian, 7.59. That is uh, just absolutely amazing, isn't it? That is uh, by far better than everybody else. Uh, we get a 7.02 uh, for Vasquez down here, which we will probably make more use of on that left hand side if we uh, carry on like we are doing. A few players that miss out on the sevens like Colotti, Buongiorno, Batoli as well. I thought he played very, very well in goal. McNally also, I'm very surprised at that. 38 games and only a 6.93. Very disappointed. Uh, just moving on a little bit forward, Killian Brate's goal scoring record. Right, okay, the 36 goals for Bolton is this season is a new team record. I still don't get that. Bolton's previous top goal scorer in the season was uh, Dan and Lundulu with 24 goals. He totally smashed that, didn't he? So he does get his record. Hughes creates a new record with 14 assists. Uh, Previously held by Ali Crawford with 11. Uh, Killian sets a record for the most men of the matches as well for the club. It was six before. He's got 14. That's massive. And um, staff numbers as well. With all that taken in, I do apologise. It is slightly longer, even though we've just played one game. But we had to get through the review as well. And it is a big, big season as we go into Europe. For next season, I've just looked at the balance as well. We've got 71 million in the bank. Wow, that is a, that's a lot. If you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, also, click the notification button as well if you don't want to miss next season's uh, journey in Europe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.